Hi guys, I've been comparing Arch Linux with Arch Linux and looking at the differences. Choices, right? Always choices. And one of the things is the FS trim, that's by default on on Arch Linux. And the other one is the ZRAM, that's by default on. So this video is about ZRAM and previous is about uh, the other one, right? So you see here a ZRAM or ZSwap, I let you read and, and look at other articles and all that. Once I figure things out, and, and please help me if it's not correct, right? But once I figure things out, I put things inside my, yeah, Arclix Nemesis. So what I do on any of my machines, I just say uh, get Nemesis on Arclix or uh, there's the two guys because of the ATT, right? Arch Linux 3 tool. So if I install the ATT, I've got that link as well. So just links to do what? Well, to get basically, if you do this, probably say the same. Voila, it says you've done that already. Yeah, that's true. So it creates a folder called data. It creates a folder. Well, not creates a folder. It git clones Arclix Nemesis. And in here, for instance, is this um, install FS trim. If you forget, here it is as well. So it's just a simple command, sudo systemctl enable FS trim. But that's not why we're here. We're going to be here for the ZRAM thing. Install ZRAM. So whenever I start reading right on, on some topic, and then I finalize everything into a file that I don't need to remember all that. I need to install this thing. I need to add ZRAM0, RAM, ZRAM size inside a certain configuration file. Then I need to reload things and so on. And then it's set. But for two years from now, I'll probably have forgotten it. So that's why we need these bash scripts, right? So you just say, install me the ZRAM. And guys, if it's wrong, please help me out, right? But this is what I found on the internet. So, okay, let's try this out. LS block provides me now with a ZRAM. I've got myself four gigabytes, the half of my virtual RAM here. It was eight gigabytes. Eh? RAM divided by two. And um, that's my swap. I do not have a actual partition, right? An actual, um, yeah, no other way, piece of your hardware. That's four swap. Uh, because of my 32 gigabytes of RAM, I don't say I don't need it. But what if you do need it? And that's this little thing here, right? The little script that says, okay, let's take half of the RAM and let's make it compressed. So read more about uh, improving performance, about this kernel module thing here, block device. You, you scan through it, read through it, um, look at other YouTubers saying, okay, this is good or not good. You decide. Right, I just provide you with um, information, but whether you use it or not is entirely up to you. We don't need these guys, all these things, so everything is now, it's not the UDEF rule, we've done the another way, right? Set the RAM and the generator and voila, it's all set and maybe we should do that as well. I swap one is also a good one, so swap on, so you know that it's working, voila. But, when you restart, you want to have that too, right? So, have a step is like booting up and reading everything, but is it now still after reboot there? Yes, it is. When will it be used? Probably when the other RAM is, is uh, filled up and used, because at this point in time, it's not used at all, zero bytes used. All right, that concludes the two differences that we have currently and probably will keep having because it's choices. You decide whether you want to FS RAM, you decide whether you want to Z RAM and it's easy, right? Just go inside, go to Arch Wiki and start reading and start comparing and make a script so you can forget it and run the script after an installation. All right, cheers.